here at NAMM 2014 at the Telefunken booth. I love that company name. We'll talk about that. And I'm here with Alan Veniskovsky, who is the Director of Operations. Welcome to Drum Talk TV. Hey, man. How you doing? Glad to be here. Doing great. Glad to have you here. Thanks for allowing us to interview Maddie Amendola at your other booth. Yep. And of course, when I asked about drum mics, of course, he had a great answer. But before we get into that, we're going to cover two other things. First of all, give a little bit of history about Telefunken. Okay, uh, Telefunken is actually a, a German brand. It's been around for well over a hundred years. Um, its literal translation, the Tele, means distance, and Funken means spark. So it means a distant spark, which is basically the earliest form of communication or broadcast or wireless communication. So Telefunken has been around forever, but the new version of Telefunken, which exists here in the United States, uses the name Telefunken Electroacoustic. The Electroacoustic division uh, basically symbolizes our product line, which is vacuum tube-based microphone technology, dynamic microphone technology, and other things related to studio. So um, we will eventually be getting into things like preamplifiers and vacuum tubes and monitors. But for right now, Telefunken Electroacoustic is handling microphones. So at this booth, is our dynamic range, hence the drums. So. Very cool. I have a question, and I'm I am I've done a lot of production work and everything, but I am not the technical guy in the studio that can break down how this works and all that. So if my question is ridiculous, go ahead and tell me. Is the vacuum tube element of your product a big part of where the warmth comes from? In the vacuum tube rage, like the, the Diamond series and the RFT series, absolutely. The vacuum tube uh, offers a little bit of colorization to the sound, offers a little tone, and there's also a little push and pull and dynamic kind of squeezing happening with the vacuum tube that gives it its richness and its warmth and sometimes its open and airy top end. So cool. that's why vacuum tubes are usually you know, associated with that that warmth and that high fidelity sound that you're talking cool. about. And a lot of their products come in different flavors. Talk about this. You know, we interviewed Durga McBroom from Pink Floyd, and she says, I'm the purple one. Yeah, right, So right, she's got right. the purple one. We went with blue to match my shirt. It's the Drum Talk TV logo color. What's up with the colors? Okay, so the colors were done with our custom shop as a bit of a, a joke to see what would happen, and it caught on like wildflowers. So, you know, Devo ordered the yellow one, you know, and we made a red one for Sammy Hagar and then the green one for Green Day and it just keeps going from there and then eventually um, we moved on to like the wood finishes uh, and some of the metal finishes like the gold and the chrome and all those things are actually now regular products from our custom shop but they're based off of our existing dynamic series so in this case we have the M80 in blue which is this microphone which we used for the other interview yes. and as soon as it was put in my hand it, this I, at first I thought I thought that it's like, oh, this is almost like rubber. And then I thought, oh, it's too hard. And then, I'm sorry, I forgot the young man's name. But he said, no, it's rubber coated. I'm like, wow. And I gave it to our director. I'm like, check this out. And then she put the headphones on and then put them on my head. I sounded like a jazz DJ. <laughs> and it, I'll say the same thing I said in the other interview, in other interview. If you watched any other Drum Talk TV interviews without these mics, I sound like Felix the Cat in real life. These things have so much warmth. I was impressed. So I'm real interested to hear as Maddie described, how he uses this on his snare drum yep. and some other instruments, how the evolution came from your vocal microphones that you'll talk about to the drum Drums, right. line series. Yes, yeah, so talk about that. So the Dynamic series has three unique voices. The M80, which is open, bright, and airy sounding. It's ideal for male vocals, but also for hi-hat. It gives this, uh, not hi-hat, I'm sorry, it's also for snare. And it gives that snare the extra crispness that you're looking for. The tight pattern, when on a snare drum, will cut out that hi-hat and will cut out the bleed from the toms. So we have the M80 vo voiced for vocals and snare. Then we have something called the M81, which is over here but also presented in this lower format version here. This is a flatter, more neutral sound. It doesn't have the bright open top end. It's designed to just be very neutral, so it's great on things like toms, timbali, but also a bright, shrill guitar amp, or even a thinner vocal, like a female vocal. It also sounds like because it's that flat, that it gives the room for some dynamic tweaking to be done by the engineer or the producer. Absolutely, it takes EQ better because it's this neutral surface that you're starting with. 
Um, so beyond the M80 and the M81, we have what's called the M82. Now the M82 has four unique voices in it. Uh, it starts off flat, then it has a kick EQ where you can cut out some of the mid-range, and then it has a high boost where you can throw on a little bit more top end. So in a kick drum application, um, those settings allow for maybe a, controlling the mid a little bit better or adding some of the beater attack from the click. That's cool. Now, does it, have you, uh, in their R&D, have... I'm sorry, the microphone's over here. In the R&D, have they worked with the effectiveness of the differences between putting that on the resonant head of the kick drum versus the beater side? Yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, we did a lot of work with that, and our goal was to come up with a microphone that was just one mic solution for mic and kick drum. We know a lot of people, a lot of professionals who'd put a PZM or an Omni mic on the inside, they put a dynamic mic in the hole and then they're doing something like a sub kick or a, a larger um, coil of some kind on the outside of the kick. Our thought was, well we know what all three of those things sound like, let's try to make a microphone that when it's placed it just does in it. the hole will get one thing and then if, you, if you're if a jazz drummer and you don't have a hole and you come out on the resonant head it will, will know that it will respond that way. And then you can control that right on the mic as opposed to at the board, you know? So. That's cool, that's cool. Now, the entire package is called the DD5. So the DD5 includes one kick drum, one snare mic, and three tom mics. It's also available in a four piece called the DD4, in which case we just remove one of the mics from the package. All of these microphones that are made for the drums come with either a plastic mount clip or a metal clip that allows you to get onto various different rims of, of different size. And then all of the kits and all the microphones come with five meter, which is roughly 16 feet, custom XLR cable with the right angle connector that allows you to get into low profile positions. So. Are any of the mics or other mics that you have uh, suitable for overhead, either live or in the studio? And are these suitable for live versus and studio? Or Yeah, these are designed for both live and studio applications. Um, the kick drum mic can be used in this as a broadcast mic for radio, so right away it's great for vocal in that application. Beyond these dynamics, um, our other products, are, our other tube mics are excellent for overheads. Um, the, the, some of the mics I showed you downstairs. Yeah. But one of the more uh, most recent developments that we're working on is actually going to be this microphone right here. This is a uh, small diaphragm pencil mic. It doesn't have a tube in it. It's going to be called the M60, and it will go hand in hand with the drum pack, you know, for overheads or hi hat. What so. does the the five package retail for, and what is the overhead package retail? for? Okay, so. Thirteen forty nine for the five piece. And it comes with the case. With the case, with the cables and all the clips. Eleven forty nine for the four piece. And then these microphones, these overheads are probably gonna be priced around five ninety five each for one mic with one capsule. So the pair will probably be around eleven hundred. For that. Where do people um, buy the product? Direct or through a dealer network? Uh, our dealer network is labeled on our website. You know, you can go find the usual major players on there. And um, we do do a few things direct, but it's mostly through our dealer network. And the, and the website's right here on the screen, conveniently. It's www.t-funk.com. So that's Telefunk and shortened out. www.t, sorry, www.t-funk.com. Very cool. Exciting stuff. I'm excited. And <laughs> it's exciting stuff. And where are you based out of? All right, so Telefunken is out of uh, a small town right outside of Hartford, Connecticut in, in New England. So uh, that's our stomping ground now. So Very cool. Thanks for joining us on Drum Talk TV and enlightening our audience on some more options on getting great, not just drum sounds, but you know, if you're working with vocals and, and tracking voices for production and everything, this sounds really good compared to other interviews, seriously. And we'll see you soon right here on Drum Talk TV. Thanks, Telefunken.